Hi everybody, we're going to take a look at another game for the color computer today called Popcorn. Popcorn, according to Moby Games, is uh, actually based on the 1978 arcade game called Avalanche, which was made by Atari. And it actually spawned, uh, Avalanche spawned the Atari 2600 hit called Kaboom. So it's a, a pretty basic game, as you'll see shortly. So let's uh, start off running through the manual here. And here we go, popcorn. Kind of an interesting cover art. I don't remember as a kid being too interested in uh, this game, probably because even back when I was six years old, I thought the game art was pretty lame. Who wants to play being a piece of popcorn? I don't know. Made in uh, 1981. You go. Oh, now that's more exciting. Kind of, kind of a creepy-looking popcorn guy, actually. Hmm. I don't know if I'd want my kids playing playing with a piece of popcorn that looks like that. All right, popcorn. To enjoy the savory experience of popcorn, you will need a TRS-80 color computer and joysticks. It's kind of weird. All right, playing the game. The object of this game is to use your paddles to catch as many of the falling popcorn kernels as possible before they hit the bottom of the popper. You're awarded points for every kernel you catch. The more kernels you catch, the faster the remaining kernels will fall. First, press any key, or the game will start by itself in a few seconds. In the center of the screen, you will see the flashing game over uh, signal to, lower, to the lower right of the game over level 1 is shown. Choosing a skill level. You must first choose a skill level. Popcorn has nine skill levels, one through nine. Skill level one is for beginner. A skill nine is for the advanced player. Press a number, one through nine. Then press the joystick button. And the popcorn begins showering down. If you enter the wrong skill level number, you can correct it by pressing the correct number before pressing the joystick button. To prevent popcorn falling to the bottom of the popper, use the joystick to move the six white paddles located beneath the descending kernels. Move the joystick control lever to the left to move the paddles to the left, etc. Go for scoring. There are five layers of kernels. In the bottom uh, white row are worth 10 points each. Uh, kernels in the second row are worth 20 points. Those in the third row are worth 30 points. Those in the fourth row are 40, and those in the fifth row are worth 50 points. There are 16 kernels in each layer uh, for a total of 80 kernels. If every kernel is caught, you will earn an extra 2,400 points. In the lower left corner of the playing screen, your score will be recorded for the current match and play. At the lower right corner of the screen, the high score for the last skill level and play will be shown. The game is composed of sets. When you clear the playing screen of kernels, you will complete a set. You will be awarded extra paddle. And this, uh, when the set is completed, there can never be more than seven paddles on the screen. A new set of kernels will appear each time you clear the playing field of kernels. The skill level will automatically advance one level when you complete a set. If you let a kernel hit the bottom of the screen, you'll not only lose a paddle, but the full set of kernels will reappear uh, on the screen. You can replace the lost paddle by completing a set. The game is finished when you run out of paddles. Okay. Pretty straightforward there. All right, and interestingly, this game uh, was made by uh, Stephen Bjork, which he actually has some uh, presence online about just sort of cocoa history. Uh, he's kind of into it. Um, and looking at the credits, he actually made the Sands of Egypt. Uh, which was uh, one of my sort of favorite graphical adventure games, which I have another video of on the channel here. And looks like he was working on games all the way up uh, to 1996, uh, doing the Bassmasters Classic, which um, was pretty cool. He also did a game that I really loved, which was the Rocketeer. Uh, he did some programming for that. 
Um, and then uh, Crystal Quest, that sounds familiar. Is that the one for the Macintosh? The Macintosh. Yeah, yeah, I used to play Crystal Quest all the time on the Macintosh. Pretty cool. Thanks. Thanks, Steve Bjork. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look at popcorn and watch me fail miserably. Okay. So here we go. So I started this on level zero, uh, just so I wouldn't die, which seemed to be a good decision. Okay. Whoa. That doesn't give you much of a break. Too far there. Let's try again. It's almost done that round, too. Okay, I have no idea what a good uh, popcorn or avalanche score would be. I don't know if the scores between popcorn and avalanche are the same, or if the scoring would be different.
Ooh. Oh boy. Oh man. That's moving fast. Hold on. This is not going to end well for me. Uh. Mm, mm, yeah. Uh. Oh my. Oh boy. I'm sweating. <laughs> I think there's a way to pause it and I need a break. Oh, man. All right, popcorn. here. Okay. Come on. Almost had it with popcorn. Okay. I get past this level. <laughs> do, 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 do. Three paddles left. It's definitely harder because you have to wait longer before you can move. I think it's slowing down for me. 
Oh, maybe every time you die it goes back down a level, possibly? Oh, holy crap. <laughs> well, at least now it sounds like popcorn. Ah. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I'm beating this level. Adam. Oh. <laughs> I just thought it was too sweaty. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Whew. All right. Popcorn. 24,350. I'm not going to play that again. It was pretty fun, though. All right. So that is popcorn for the color computer. And I don't have too much more to say about it, but it was. Fun enough. Got me, got me nice and sweaty. Uh, what can you say more than that? All right. I hope you enjoy the video.